Hello everyone and welcome back to Algonquin. Algonquin Competitive Gaming Club. Yep. Same room as usual. Marvel yep. versus Capcom 3, as usual. Yep. Street Fighter 4 is in the corner. Tekken's in the corner. Um, <laughs> Street Fighter 4. Guilty Gear, Guilty Gear, Double Dragon. And I'm gonna have to go over here to check out what they're playing, but I'm betting it's Skullgirls. It's it's probably Skullgirls. No, they're playing Street Fighter uh Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, I think. Oh uh Yeah, I'll emulator. I'll check. Yes. So anyways. I'm Jim from Just Push Play, in case you've forgotten over the last 36 weeks. And uh, this week is List Game Ottawa uh, NBA Jam on Fire Edition. Uh, it's a downloadable game that you could buy back in 2011. I think it's still available, so highly addictive. Uh, we played a few matches of that, some Puzzle Fighter, and uh, what else did we play? We played some Double Dragon Neon, but we didn't record it, unfortunately. Yep, it's uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. It's I was thinking it was like the Rainbow Edition, you know, yeah. the absolutely glitched as hell Rainbow version. Yeah. But yeah, we were doing some Double Dragon Neo on Dragon Mode, which is pretty difficult, but with a player, with another player on hand, you get to beat people up pretty easily. Pretty much you get hit twice and you're dead. You lose a life. It's that hard. Yeah, pretty much. It's like you Nintendo have to hard. You're dodging and you're gleaming. Yeah. Yeah, and you have to like air juggle the bosses. Until they, they die. We air joke. <laughs> <out of Skeletor. laughs> That's who he's copied off of, I think, because his voice is exactly like Skeletor. Not only does he look like a giant skull man, yeah. he also has the voice of Skeletor, he man. Yes. Yes, he man. <laughs> I can do Skeletor. Yeah. So we played some NBA Jam as well. You like that? Yep. You played the original, right? And TE? Uh, yeah, I think I have, but I have actually played a lot more Puzzle Fighter. Okay. Yeah, he was kicking my butt Puzzle Fighter tonight. And I was also letting him win at times. Yes. It was like 7-2 to two or 8-2 to two when we finished, seven, so I was getting whooked. Was it 7-3? Okay, well, I don't feel as bad then. Somebody will count. Somebody will. Someone count. will count. The computer can count. We we just played the games. I'm talking about the viewers. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I can check. That's true. Yeah. So tomorrow's Comic Con. Are you going to Comic Con this weekend? Actually, I haven't bought a ticket. So oh. No. Maybe not. Ah. Oh. Well, yeah. it's Comic Con 2014. There's going to be Bruce Campbell. There's going to be. Um, it's kind of interesting because it's going to be the blurry pixel, and they're like the new game. The next game um, oriented business on the Ottawa proverbial block. So they're going to have like games and everything. So we'll see what I want to interview them. So you might see an interview All with right. me. I, I don't Comic Con. They don't like unless you're. You know, with a media pass, they don't like you having a tripod and all that, but screw that. Um, you know, we might be able to interview them anyways if we sit down at their booth. Yeah. Yeah. That's the fun part. But uh, so like I said, I didn't I didn't buy a ticket. I don't think I'm going to buy a ticket anytime soon. They're hella yeah. expensive. Yeah. So It's like $30 a day, I think. 68 <laughs> for three days, so. Yeah, I'm not yeah. money. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I think it's pretty good. They have Bruce Campbell. I mean, that's that's win win for me Hail and to the Delorean. King, baby. <laughs> Hail to the king, baby. Yeah. So. And yeah. Else who else they have? Yeah. And uh, well, they have a few names. They have Christopher Lloyd from Back to the Future. Great Scott. <laughs> Great Scott. Yeah. Only thing that would have like totally devastated. Well, if they managed to get like. Star Wars people. They wanted to get Peter or Peter Mayhew. That's his name, right? Yeah. They were going to have him, but then he got called to episode 7, which is more important than a convention, in my opinion. So, yes. It's kind of disappointing, though. Yeah. Episode 7 is yeah. in the works. Yes. They have a script. They finished the script like three months ago or something. That's what I read. So. I want to know how they're going to do episode 7. Yes. Harrison Ford, I saw a picture, I saw Harrison Ford at like one of the Comic Cons and he looks like 85 and he's not 85. Yeah, there's like a million ways to go about episode 7 
and there's just as many ways to fail and pull off a Phantom Menace on I was listening to Howard Stern last night. He had an 11-minute interview with J.J. Abrams, and he's like, man, you got the best possible deal. You're going in. The last three movies, Blue Chunks, they were prequels. No one liked them. You're going to save Star Wars. That's what he was saying, and I kind of agree with him. I don't see there being any way that he can screw it up any more than, you know... The prequels, yeah, or yeah, he, he he's gonna save Star Trek by not actually <laughs> doing any more movies. Sure, uh, I'm just pointing out that he also did Star Trek. Yeah, yeah, he so, did both of those. Oh my god! And I liked it. If he so, was allowed. Yeah, he could actually bridge Star Trek, Star Wars, <laughs> give us the ultimate combination. <laughs> Except that now, Star Trek is now rebooted, and this is post the Rebellion, so they're kind of different now. So, But, there's, but it's going to be Star Wars versus Star Trek, just I not how, how we would figure it out. I think he has some potential. I mean, I think he has the potential to do a really good job, but it depends. He's got Lawrence Kasdan doing the script, and uh, he helped do the script too because they didn't like Michael Apted version or something like they kicked him out so he doesn't have the final credits on the script which is kind of interesting so anyways we're yeah we're talking all about talking all about star wars instead of gaming so yeah. NBA jam was fun you liked it yep yeah you liked it more than the old ones or the new ones more uh, both are the same for me the same same the commentary is good in each of the games yeah yeah so Anyways, this yeah. This one's trying to be a little more hip. Yeah, this one's a bit more hip, you know, with the pwned and all that. So, uh, I like them all. I mean, the original NBA Jam that they did before this this one, which was just called NBA Jam, it had good commentary too. So, um, yeah, hopefully they kept some. And I wish that you could turn on and off, like, individual clips. So, I find that kind of disappointing. I think that's something they that could do. a little more... Uh high tech advance for, for our gamers but Smash Brothers they can you know determine which items are actually yeah but items and voice clips are different. yeah true but I mean if if you just hate a voice clip you don't want to ever hear it you should be able to turn off like individual <laughs> ones that's how I see it you know yeah but it's sort of like asking for frame data in your training mode it just it depends on how they coded it I don't know a niche game would actually do that yeah well Speaking, that's another game I'm looking forward to. Smash and the Mario Kart in about 23 days. Pink, gold, peach. Yes. What were you thinking? <laughs> Why not? Oh, Mario Nintendo. Peach? They do whatever they want, and if their fans like it, they're happy. If Pokemon the fans don't Alpha, like it, Ruby and Omega Sapphire remake. Yeah, that's that's gonna be big. I saw a lot of people are like, <gasps> Oh my god! Especially since they were going on saying, Hoenn's confirmed. Hoenn's confirmed. <laughs> Hoenn's confirmed. Well, finally, Hoenn's confirmed. <laughs> In about five years, they're gonna say Shino confirmed. <laughs> Shino confirmed. And then Uva not confirmed. Uva not confirmed. And then Kalos confirmed. Kalos confirmed. Kalos confirmed. And then they yeah. realize we're going around fucking circles. Yeah. Well, they're just going to remake them all, I'm sure. Like, gotta make them all. Instant money. <laughs> gotta make them all. All right. Well, I think that's a good place to stop for this week. Yep. Uh, next week, we're going to go try and do Dr. Mario slash Tetris <laughs> for <laughs> Super <laughs> Nintendo. So we're going <laughs> to <laughs> go back. You know, we d- went forward to, like, 2011. Now we're going back to, like, 95 or something we're with gonna that game. Take you back something. To the <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. There's always a song. There's always a song that you know. Anyways, Nick, any f- last words? Because I want the camera not to die on us. Then let's end it right now. Let's All not right. have the camera die on us. All right. Don't die, camera. Don't die. Don't die on me. <laughs> I don't feel like that guy in Trauma me. Center. Don't yeah, die on me. I need a pentagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Doctor. <laughs> my Doctor Mario. Has, no, my sister has cancer. <laughs> Zombie cancer! (laughs) (laughs) Wow. All right, we're going to end at that. So, guys, remember, keep on gaming. Go to House of Targ. Spur all these local gaming events and stuff going on. And enjoy Comic-Con. And buy Nick a slice of pizza because his commentary is priceless. So, all right, guys. Take care. We'll see you after Comic-Con. Ciao. Adios, amigos.